The Samsung Galaxy Note 9 is an absolute workhorse and worth every penny. This is my review. Hey everybody, welcome back to Zach Talks Tech, where it's about the community, engagement, and conversation we're having here about the tech that you love. For full disclosure, I did buy the Galaxy S9 full outright at first. I did return it and end up signing a contract with my carrier so I could get it at a lower price. This is my very first Note device, so I might be a little biased here, but I am really, really impressed. This is not my first Samsung device. I've owned the Samsung Galaxy S6, Edge Plus, the Samsung Galaxy S7, the Galaxy S8, the Galaxy S9 Plus, and now I've got the Note. The past, I used to skip on the Note because to me, it seemed like just a, a bigger plus design with a stylus. But now, this year, Samsung has made some significant changes that have caught my attention, and I have three main reasons to show you guys why I think it's an absolute workhorse and worth every penny. Now, I'm not gonna go over all the features of the Note 9. You can get that in any spec sheet or any other video. Rather, I wanna focus on three key features that really caught my attention and really stood out and made the Note 9 the absolute workhorse and best Android device on the market today. Number one, the battery. The Samsung Note 9 has a 4,000 milliamp battery. There's something magical about a 4,000 milliamp battery that just works really well with the Android environment. In the past, I've had the Huawei P20 Pro. It has a 4,000 milliamp battery. The Vivo Next, it also has a 4,000 milliamp battery. And I can tell you, a 4,000 milliamp battery will get you through the entire day plus some. I am unplugging this device at 7 a.m. in the morning, and by 5.30, I'm at 30, 35% battery. I have seven different Gmail or G Suite addresses coming here, three exchange emails, two Twitter accounts, two, two Instagram accounts, and a pile of other notification uh, tracking apps and things like that. This thing is an absolute workhorse and is getting me through all of that. I'm getting all of my notifications. Everything is working smooth. It is awesome having that kind of power under the hood. And the inclusion of fast charging on this, it makes it an even better device. So if I need to top up at the end of the day, if say I a little bit, need a little bit more, I basically plug this in at dinner, half hour later, I'm topped up to the 80, 90%. I'm good to go for the evening to watch all those other YouTube videos and support all the creators out there that I watch. Number two, the S Pen. This thing right here takes the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 to a completely different level above and beyond any other Android device out there. It's not just a stylus. This is a productivity tool. There are apps and programs on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 that take full advantage of this, and I have absolutely loved it. From taking notes, marking up documents, uh, being able to color pictures, uh, all sorts of things, I'm really excited to see how far I can take this. My only criticism of the S Pen is it feels a little lightweight and a little hollow. I always feel like I might break it or whatnot, so I wish Samsung would maybe make it a little more dense, a little bit heavier, so it felt like a pen. But I can also see why they made it as lightweight as possible because you already have a 4,000 milliamp battery in here, and you know the device does have a good weight, so maybe something for Samsung to consider, um, but I do wish it just had a little more weight to it like a real pen. But other than that, this is awesome. It's a complete game changer. You can take selfies and things like that with the Bluetooth uh, connectivity on here. And I'm absolutely loving the productivity and the, the way things have changed for myself using this. Number three is the camera. Something happened between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus and this camera here. This camera is definitely a step above. I'm finding pictures to be more vibrant, clearer. When I zoom in, they look really good. The slow-mo is still awesome. The night shots still look great. Very, very impressed. And the AI on here to recognize different scenes, to adjust, is very lightweight and it's not intrusive at all like some other phones. Very, very impressed with this camera. Definitely a 10 out of 10. This has been an awesome killer camera right there. Absolutely impressed. It's been great. So to summarize my top three features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and why you should consider getting one, the battery, the S Pen, and the camera. Those right there are reasons alone to spend the money on this phone. Now, that being said, if you have the option to sign a contract and get this phone at a reduced rate or trade in a phone and get this phone at a reduced rate, do it. It is definitely worth every penny outright, 
But if you can get it for a lesser price, like I did signing a contract with my carrier, definitely do that. My only negative gripe with the Samsung Note 9 is Bixby. God bless her, she's trying to do the best thing, but I wish Samsung would give us the option to turn it off natively or remap the button. Unfortunately, we don't have that option. In past devices, you were able to disable the button natively. We haven't been given that option yet. It's supposed to be coming down the road. Fortunately, there is a solution for that. You can download an app called BX Actions, and I'll leave a link up here and down in the description to a video I did about that. Check that out. That app is free to download. It'll allow you to remap the button or even turn it off altogether if you don't like using Bixby. So that'll do it here for me, guys. That's my review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I am completely impressed. Absolutely love this device. This is the Android of the year for me. Samsung has done it right. And before all you naysayers say, oh, big, uh, Samsung Experience or uh, TouchWiz, no. No, 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 no. It is so much better. It is so much smoother than it has ever been. Ever since the Samsung Galaxy S6 and going forward, the 7, the 8, 9, and now the Note 9, Samsung experience has gotten better and better and smoother and smoother. There is less bloatware, less load down on the system, and it works great. Anybody that complains about that clearly has not used the device to its full potential and I challenge them to continue doing that. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a thumbs up. Think about hitting that subscribe button as well, and I'll catch you the next one. Take care, cheers.